back now live to the Senate floor, back now live rather to the House floor, where the count is about to get underway with Vice President Mike Pence presiding as spelled out by the Electoral Count Act of 1887. It says that Congress shall meet on January 6th at 1 p.m. and the President of the Senate shall preside. This is all part of our history and we will know how this will end because Joe Biden won the electoral vote 306 to 232 and he will be sworn in two weeks from today on Inauguration Day. There is a lot of, of course, drama, why we are on the air at this hour about what exactly will happen. The outcome is not in doubt, but what will happen in this process? And there is some breaking news at this hour, so let's bring in CBS News' chief Washington correspondent, Major Garrett. The question has been, what will the vice president do? He has been under pressure by the president of the United States, but now a clue. Yes, the vice president has just sent a letter to all members of Congress. Moments ago, the President of the United States said something that is not true, that the pres Vice President has the power to change this process, to send the certification back to the states. He does not. And the Vice President in this letter says, I do not have unilateral power. The Constitution doesn't give that to me. The Electoral Count Act that you mentioned does not give that to me. I will preside over this process. I will make no decisions. If there is an objection raised and a member of the House and the Senate share that objection, there will be a process to debate that objection. He will preside over that and do nothing more. The vice president is adhering to the Constitution and existing federal law and has announced that. That should not be news, but in this context, warped as it is by the president's incessant pleadings that this election was stolen from him, which is false, the vice president had to make that announcement. It should not be news, but in this context, it is. And that's right, and here it is, the vice president of the United States in a, what prints out as a three-page letter, pointing out just that, that this has been the history of the United States, the constitutional role of the vice president in this instance, and that he will be the presiding officer, not a decider, if you will, a phrase I think we can use throughout the day. 